Hey guys, it's Dana with Engadget. I am here with the HP Slate 7, and this is an Android tablet, of course, from HP, and this really represents HP getting back into the Android game. So here we have a 7-inch tablet. It's a budget tablet. It's going to be $169 when it goes on sale in April, and accordingly, you have some specs that really do befit that $169 price. Let's start with that 7-inch display here. It is 1024 by 600, and it's not IPS. It's a different widescreen technology called HFFS, which um, purports to perform equally well in low light as in um, brighter lit conditions. And as you can see, the viewing angles actually aren't bad. So if I were to put the tablet maybe face up on a table, I would still be able to watch it, which is fortunate because we don't know of any docking accessories or anything like that that are meant to go with the tablet. The design is pretty nice too. It has a stainless steel frame here and a really nice feeling soft touch back. I'm holding it in silver, but it's also available in Beats Red, which is my personal favorite, the obvious Beats branding aside. As you can imagine, and as you may have guessed, this does have Beats audio um, coming out of the twin speakers over here. Continuing our tour of the tablet, you have your standard micro USB for charging. That's pretty typical on most mobile gadgets these days. Nothing on this side here. This side is blank except for your requisite volume rocker. Up here you have your power lock button, you have a micro SD slot, which is fortunate because the built-in storage is capped at 16 gigabytes, and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so that's also not a surprise. Inside you have one gig of RAM and you have a dual core A9 processor, and we're not, uh, HP is not able to say who makes it, or they're not saying who makes it. Um, suffice to say it's USB and Snappy enough performance. I mean, you can see a little bit of drag here even while I'm swiping through menus, but at that budget price, that's really to be expected. So this comes out again in April, so that means in a little over a month, we're going to be revisiting this hopefully in a full review. But for now, enjoy your hands-on.